Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our feature bout tonight at NFA 13. Please welcome, making his way to the cage, Jacob Fry. Jacob Fry calls himself Dude Descent. He says the keys to his victory this, this, uh, this evening are gonna be his pressure, his pace that he can keep, and he wants to have misplaced and untimely Imanari rolls. Now, Jordan, I'm gonna lean on you for whatever that is, and I'm thinking it's sushi. I'm assuming <laughs> that's some sort of a weird... You know when they fall to the ground and grab a leg and yes. try to catch in a leg entanglement? Yes, that's I know what it is, <laughs> but I'm gonna revert to our in-house, extremely handsome, high-level black belt, Jordan Dunn. No more adjectives. You ran out. <laughs> I did. I ran out. But I ran out. it's not really something I would do in an MMA fight, so he's probably just joking here. But boxing, wrestling, and he says he's a BJJ blue belt, which there's some blue belts now that, you know, really aren't blue belts if you Stick roll with them. You. So, yeah. It's, so, four and one. He's coming. He's got a loss. So, you know, the thing about losses whenever you get out the gate like that is they give you your barometer of what you need to fix. So... Kudos to him coming across the state. So I kind of feel like when you're going out of town, you're not close to win, yeah. but I'm coming to take it anyway in your hometown. And you say that's not something you see in MMA. Look at Ryan Hall. Yeah. That was one thing he was famous for. I mean, if you know it's coming, it's kind of easy to defend it. But if you don't know it's coming, you're like, what the hell just happened? Well, and a guy like Ryan Hall, nobody wanted to fight him because he was a boring fighter. He's going to heel hook you. you yeah. So. Well, this should be a good fight with Jacob Fry. I can't wait to see what he brings to the cage. Two Jacobs. Two Jacobs. Yeah, we're going to have to say the last names. <laughs> More me. I'm bad about always saying the first names. Now it's Apollo making his way to the red corner. Jacob Hiley. Jacob Hiley trains out of a good camp. 4-0. Keys to victory. Pace. Mix it up and stay away from his left hand. Now, Hiley can move. He can fight out of both leads. He can set up his shots. He doesn't just duck his head under and dip in. That's not something you want to see when you're on the verge of potentially turning pro after a few more fights. So he's got a win on LFA and an undercard. Won a good fight against Orlandis Henderson in the last show. Orlandis Henderson was an explosive fighter too. So, trains out of Smith Pitt. A lot of good guys out there. Jake Collier, who was interviewed earlier, Dakota Bush. He's around a bunch of good people and, you know, successful people. That can grow you quickly if you follow their direction. Absolutely. Yeah, if you listen to them, they've been there. They, they know the path to get there. They've already done the wrongs for you. So as long as you listen to them, you can maybe dodge some of those bullets. Yes, the price of wisdom is losing your youth. So yeah. if you, you listen to your coaches that have that kind of wisdom, you can grow pretty quickly. And what we're really hoping for is, so like we talked about, this is a vacated title. Our current champion got injured, couldn't defend the title, so we're hoping the winner of this will take him on and have a, have a big show. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds for the NFA Welterweight Championship. Brought to you tonight by Unrivaled Realty, Brad Carey Realtor. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial arts in six foot tall, weight in 169.9 pounds. Yields an amateur record, four wins, one defeat. Representing Heartland Boxing and Gracie Humida, fighting out of New York Show, Missouri, Jacob Dudecent Fry. His opponent across the NFA cage, fighting out of the red corner is a freestyle fighter standing 5 foot 10 weight in 170.5 pounds he holds an amateur record four wins zero defeats representing the smith pit in fighting out of cuba missouri jacob wildman highly your referee brandon anderson all right boys i've been over the rules in the back protect yourselves at all times obey my commands at all times any final questions from you blue any final questions from you, Red? Hook them up. Let's do it. Shorts yeah. back in yeah. the day. The Tudos. Here we go. First, first title out too. Both guys throwing some heat. Yeah. 
First thing I noticed is Fry's got a real good defense, real good guard up as he's throwing those jabs. Oh, nice. Caught him leaning, trying to throw that head kick up there. And then he answered back with a little paw on the head, too. Nice Ooh, outside that kick as Hiley moves over. Yeah, that was solid all shin. And you can, you can just tell the level of these two by the way they're moving. Yeah, as you move up the card, the skill set just definitely gets sharper. Really good looking. I wouldn't take much more of those. Those are solid all shin. No, Fry is definitely looking to, to target that outside uh -huh. leg. And with the way Hiley's moving, that could definitely hinder his strategy. Yeah, that would be the way to attack him and slow him down. It's definitely hit his legs. Oh, both these boys are pretty solid, hard throwers. That was on Hiley's chin, blocked well by the beard. I like that Fry keeps going out of that body. It's going to end up opening up a few shots up top. Well, we just saw earlier what can happen with the body shot. So it's not a bad idea. We also saw earlier what can happen with leg kicks, too. Also yeah. not yeah. a bad idea. So. Ooh, that was Ooh. nice. That little calf kick. And then went high. Jab on the chin. Good defense by Hiley there with his hand up on that hook. Woo. Short hook just missed. Oh. Wow, nice defense. Yeah. He had him fooled, but he was able to recover. I think the takedown was a little bit yeah. of a stunner there. Oh, looking for Kimura. It's going to be. Oh, he does. Oh, he's got no, 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 he's he's to step over yep. up there. You know what? I'm just going to quit talking to Jordan. You got this. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> angle they're at is hard to see, but what he's doing is holding it there. But as highly has got his hand in his own shorts there, there you go. See, he just did something that I think is very, um, it's, it's forgotten about, is just beating up the body on the ground. Yes. Yeah, way on that. Snatched up a guillotine right there. Yep, Ooh, yeah. gotta get his hips into him. Going back for that takedown. Man, oh, these guys are good. That was, that was yeah. a good defense there. Well, this is what you want out of a title fight, you know? If the title's on the line, you want to see this kind of level. Sometimes it doesn't go that way, but 10 seconds this left. It's hard to pick them up when they spread out like that, yeah. even if you're grabbing the foot. You want to grab that lead, that left leg there, bring it to the other leg, knees in line, and then shoot a double. But as always, you got to watch your neck in those Absolutely. moments. Absolutely. Yeah, no, he snatched it. They gave you. That was a good first round, guys. It was pretty even. Uh, it was pretty even, yeah. It was, it was, it was even. I, get, I, you know, I, get, I think I'm going to give it to Hiley. For the takedown? For the aggression, yeah. the takedown, yeah. the attempt at a couple of submissions, or that guillotine that was a little bit closer than, like, the Kimura. Yeah, I think the guillotine cancels out the Kimura. So I, the, I, I lean towards Hiley because of the takedown. The that takedown yeah. could have been the difference maker there. He landed a couple calf kicks back in return. It really good later in the round. Fry landed a few really solid kicks really right solid out the gate. Kicks, yeah. He landed a couple small little calf kicks. Well, we talked about the last fight. The ones that you don't hear sometimes hurt more. Those are all shin. Yeah, yeah. The, the thuds are what's not good. Yeah. <laughs> those are all shin. So when you hear the smack, a lot of times it's the foot, which doesn't hurt as bad. They still hurt, but not as bad. The shin's what you don't want to get hit with. There we go, boys. Round two. Welterweight title on the I line. I kind of wish this was five rounds. Yeah. Yeah, I wish, you know, I wish they did that more with amateurs. Or they used to do four-minute rounds for title fights for amateurs. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, you know, state to state, it's inconsistent. That's, Years ago. That's the hard part. Fry's got a really nice jab. I like that. He goes that jab, that right hand comes up for a good defensive guard. I want to point out when Fry missed that overhand right, he looked right at us. <laughs> <laughs> Like, don't say nothing. <laughs> oh, there we go. This ate it, though. Highly ate that. I do like, like you guys were talking about, I like how his body, he's dropping that body and wailing on it to open up that top game. If he lands about three or four of those, what's going to happen is when he starts changing that levels to go for, like, that body shot, he just comes up top, and he's got a clear shot because Highly will drop his hands, in theory. Right. Yeah, let's say the body sometimes takes a little bit more wear before they start reacting. So as we get later in the fight, it's going to affect him a lot more. And he's, he's wailing on it. Oh, good head kick. Yeah. He blocked it, but blocked it got through it, a little yeah. bit. Oh! oh! Left hook lands on Hiley. Looked like he tried uh, for that outside trip. Yeah. 
There's been a couple of slips tonight. I wonder what's going on with that. Must be some olive oil on that mat. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think the canvas is new. No. It, it's in good shape, but I don't think it's new. Good defense here on the walls. Mm -hmm. Got that underhook. Yeah, what I like here is these guys, they're, they're on the cage and they're not being complacent. They're still f fighting for a takedown, trying to get off, get off the cage. I like that. Yeah, these two, these two seem to be, seem to be very, uh, very good equals so far. I really like Hiley's movement. Yeah. That's a tough pace to keep, but if you're efficient with it, it's very good. But also, Fry's doing a good job of not getting mesmerized by no. it. He's cutting him off, mm -hmm. he's trying to take the center here. And he's landing shots where he can't. And Fry seems like he wants that inside game. He wants to be close with those hooks to the body and to the head. So I'm, I'm betting what he's going to try to do is after he throws that right hook to the body, he's going to come back up with a left hook. Good defense again. Right in front so of you nice hear the crowd move. yelling for that knee to the body. Mm -hmm. They got one in there. Now well, Fry turns up. the tables on him. I think Fry looks like he might be a little bit stronger physically yeah. than Hiley, but Hiley's got that movement, kind of elusive, kind of squirrely. Fry's got those beefy legs. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Semi checked that though. And there's marks on his calf too. Yep, yeah. there's another one there. Well, some of the problem with a beefy leg is there's a lot more to hit. Ooh, Ooh, good right hand left hook combo yeah. there. Ooh, that, that yeah. calf kick is starting to make a, a difference. There are times Hiley puts that chin in the air, and Fry's starting to find it. There it was. Yep. Yes. Right hook low, uh, left hook high. I'm glad I'm not a judge. If there's, a, I'll say, if there's a gun to my head, I'll say it's probably even 1-1, one, one, but that, yeah. that's a hard one. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> That was a good round, guys. These are very high-level competitors. Yeah. Good title fight. The welterweight championship bout brought to you once again by Unrivaled Realty. Either one that comes out of this Brad will be a good, uh, good matchup for Clarkson. Yes. These guys have more experience, that's for sure. That's so there's sure, yeah. a lot of work to put in. Well, that's the problem about being a phenom. When you're young well, and you're really good, sometimes you meet guys with better experience yeah, and you well, move Clarkson, up fast. You win or level up. Yep. Clarkson's <laughs> a, a different animal. Jordan, you told me that a yeah. long time ago. He's a different animal. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, you know, he got hurt, uh, needed some time off. So we're putting this on, uh, kind of, you know, make, make nice it a title. Hook. Hopefully the winner will get a shot at Clarkson. We can see, you know, who the champ champ is. Wow. <laughs> Here we go, third and final round of this championship fight. Gonna run out of time, man. I know. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! oh. Looked like a slip to yeah. me. Yeah, but it, wow, that, it's right that back same up. spot. That's three in that spot. Right back up. Awesome job. Oh, shit on nice shin. check. If Fry would have gotten on top of him and laid on him, that could have taken the fight. So that That's was really right. going to Hiley to stand up like that. That body again. I, I mean, he's nailing that body, but Hiley seems to be taking it fine. Oh, nice. That got past the block. He's trying to find that kick several times tonight. Yeah, he oh, tried to bait wow. him in. Wow. Oh, we got, might have a straight leg there. Nope. There's those body uh, hammer fists that Adam likes. But see now right here, it was a takedown attempt that was defended. Now Jacob Fry is on top. How do you score that? So uh, if that's defended, he ended up on top. You would technically lean more toward Fry. I, I, yeah. I would too, but these I judges would. nowadays. Well, and again, he's on top. You're putting in the work. He's not. He's not being complacent. Hiley does not want to be there, though. We talk about all the time, you do not want to be that close to the cage unless you're using it to walk up. Nope, and you got to be careful of that body lock because if you turn, you're going to give up your back, kind of mm -hmm. like Doug did earlier. Well, in the Fry way... looks like he's trying to pass a little bit. So the way is his arm, too. you got to watch the head and arm. I was going to say the head and arm could be there, too. So right here, if he stands up and he turns, he could give up his back if he's not careful. Or it doesn't happen often, but you could have a standing head and arm also. This is a tough position to get out of with that yeah. leverage. Good thing is the cage is kind of blocking the head and arm, so that helps out in Hiley's favor. Yes. 
Now he's got double butterflies, and if he can extend him, he might be able to create some space here. And Easier we, said than done. Right, and we saw he's fast to get up, so if he can get that space, he'll probably pop right back up. Yeah, but right here, Fry with the ground and pound, he's winning this round. Yeah, the, he's, that classic body body head. He's doing the work. Yeah. Highly good job. Highly, Highly good, good job. Yep. Really he has good ground job he has to make up, in so, my opinion. He does. Now, Hiley also was throwing punches on him on the ground. If you're yeah, on top and yeah. someone's chipping at you with that, that yeah. does wear at you. It's annoying. Yeah. Nice up and good. Man, look, these guys are good. Look yeah, for Hiley are. to set up another takedown to get that one back. Fry's corner is going crazy. <laughs> This is a great fight. These, yeah, these two boys are not disappointing. We talked a lot about uh, Connors and Donovan, but these, these guys definitely are not disappointing. Not at all. Very impressed. Oh, nice. Nice oh. jab. Yep. He wobbled a bit. It could have been just a, a misstep, though. It's crazy. One guy only had a shot, and then three more come back. Yeah. They both, they're both tough as hell. Oh, nice body shot again. Oh, nice front kick. Hey, what that a fight. That overhand left. Yeah. Great fight. I'm not even going to try and score yeah. that one. Although I do think that, that ending in the third round I definitely probably fry, went to yeah. fry. I got so. fry 2-1. But I'm not paid to judge. So Every I, time I try, I mess it up. That's, I, I'm, and then again, people I, get their feelings hurt and then mess uh, the page. I will say this. <laughs> so that's why I say this, though. Like I think it's fry 2-1, but I'm, I'm not a judge. And if Hiley wins, I'm not upset because it's such a good fight. So. This Jacob Fry kid is solid. Yeah, it's good. Looks big for the weight class, mm -hmm. too. He gave Hiley a hell of a fight, and that's what Hiley was needing, in my opinion, before, you know, if he's, he's thinking about that next level. And that's what you want. This guy behind you says he knows you wants to say and, and that's what Patrick wants, too. I told him he couldn't come up here unless he said it's okay. I yeah, was okay. Uh, yeah look, tell, him, tell him I'll get with him here in a bit. All right, well, <laughs> judge has got a hard decision to make here. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, really could go either way. Yeah, it could. Absolutely could. It's a great fight. Another one of those, you're going to, both guys are going to learn, win or lose. If I put all three rounds together in one round, I would have to lean with Fry because of the, right. when he got on top over there yeah. in the corner. But highly, he highly. got up, got back to yeah. work, you know, so highly it's just one of those. Good. It's one of those situations where Hiley may have ran out of time, but you just don't know. He's taking, yeah, it's like he's taking a while to collect those cards if they're thinking. <laughs> Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, maybe they're making it. They're, ma they're making that anticipation really well. Yep. I don't envy them for this one. No, not at all. All right. Looks like Mike Kendall might be might be ready. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Rob Francis scores this bout 29-28 highly. Judge Jason Carr scores this bout 29-28 fry. And Judge Rob Veal scores this bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision and new NFA welterweight champion, Jacob Wildman Hailey!